could be some goodies in here. to the hard goods. Let's avoid people. So I'm going to go into a voiceover here because it was extremely loud in there and you could barely hear me. I'm having some technical difficulty with my audio, so I hope you do not mind the voiceover. And there's quite a lot of stuff in this Salvation Army, lots of things on the shelves, but I didn't find anything on that shelf. So I'm going to turn around and look at this other shelf. There's a lot of wood and metal pieces. Spotted a little brass basket there. I'm just looking it over. But I decide to leave it. I have a lot of brass, so I'm being a little bit picky with my brass selections. I have this set already. It is new in the box. I still have to list it, so I left that behind. And I thought this piece was kind of neat. It looks like a brutalist piece. The top is copper and the bottom is a brass. Really, really thin pieces. I wasn't quite sure what it was for. It looked like possibly a fountain pen could go in the little holder there and almost looked like you could put little pictures in there, but it was only 99 cents, so I decided to put it in my cart. And decided not to grab that piece of brass <laughs> and check out that piece. I thought maybe it was a teak cutting board, but I wasn't too sure. And thought this was a cute little copper potpourri dish, but there was a lot of wear on it. And this is a brass wall planter. And these are pretty popular. They look really nice on the wall with a viney plant coming out of them. So I grabbed that for $3.99. another piece of brass and it looks like a bud vase and I'm not really sure if that piece belongs to that or not looks like something you would put a candle out with but I didn't know if they went together and this piece I wasn't really sure what it was I think there was some pieces missing something would have sat in those spots there And then I found a brass butterfly napkin holder for 99 cents. So I am definitely going to put that in my cart. I have sold that exact piece in my shop before. And I'm checking this piece of wood over. It is a candle holder. You would put a a pillar candle on the little spike there. It's a nice piece of wood. 
I wasn't 100% sure how old it was. And there was only one, so I decided to leave that piece on the shelf. It's kind of cool though. I maybe should have grabbed it. What do you think? Should I have grabbed that? And this tin was really pretty. It was $3.99. And I am trying with one hand to get it open to see how it looks inside. And was not successful, but I do put it in my cart. And I'm gonna check it over a little better later on and see if it's a piece that I wanna take home with me. And I think that's all on that shelf. So I'm gonna mosey on over to the next one. I think that was a whole lot of hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna see if there's any planters or vases in this section. That was a modern piece. That was modern as well. That was brass, but I decided to leave that piece. And that, <laughs> I thought that was a lot heavier than it was. I thought it was going to be a big, heavy piece of pottery. So I picked it up like it was a heavy piece of pottery and it was a very light piece. I think it was like paper mache or something. I thought it was kind of funny though. Those are modern bud vases. I believe they were made in China. just seeing who made this, but there is no maker's mark on that one. And I found another brass wall planter. And so I decided to grab this one as well. It is also $3.99. And I'm just checking to see if I can get, oh, I'm showing you that you can put a viney plant in there. <laughs> I am checking to see if I can get the piece inside out it stuck pretty good, but it will come out, so I decided to take it. And I'm just going to scan over the shelf again, see if there's anything that I missed. That was plastic. That was just a plain little bud vase. Now this piece back here, it stumped me at first because it's in with the vases and so I'm not really sure what it is. Got a hole in the bottom, it's very light. And then I realized that I believe it is a tree topper. And these I think go for pretty good money. Um, it's definitely vintage, I believe. I think it's made out of mercury. I could be wrong, but I decided to leave it because I did not want to travel with that piece. It would likely get broken. And I'm just going to have a peek at these vases in the back. And that one was really light. And this piece was a more modern piece, I believe. And now I'm in the glassware. And then I find a Pepe Le Pew squirrel mug. And I sold one of these in my shop to one of my viewers, Andrea. And so I found another one and it was a dollar ninety nine. I'm just checking to make sure there's no chips or cracks or anything and it's from really good condition. So I decided to put it in my cart. And there's a bunch of little knickknacks and I spotted this really cute turtle. And it's just a really neat piece. And 
I believe it was two ninety nine or a dollar ninety nine. I'm just checking to see if there's any maker's mark or anything, and I can't get the sticker off to check it. But I definitely am going to take this adorable turtle. Really unique, fun piece. And that was just a faux plant. And then I find some Tanala. And it was an owl. I believe it was $1.99. It is a souvenir piece from Cozumel. And I don't usually pick up the souvenir pieces, but because it was an owl in really good condition and the price was right, I decided to take that guy with me. Um, let me know if you prefer the voiceovers or if you like the real time thrifting. That was a more modern piece. And that little guy, I think, had a chip on him. I'm just having a look at this brass cross. And then this box, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It does have a little chip on the corner and I believe it is made in Italy. It has gold leafing on it. Very old piece. And I decide to take it with me even though it has a little chip. I can always touch it up with some gold leaf and if anything I'll keep it for myself. And I believe it was a dollar ninety nine. The kitty was cute, but I have so many little kitty figurines I just really don't need any more. That was just a little pottery piece. And I thought this little timer was cute. Looks like a vintage coffee pot, but when I tested it out, you can see it just flings right back, so it did not work. Be a cute little display piece, but I decided to leave it. And this is a hobbyist piece, a mold someone painted. I thought they did a really nice job. Really pretty. And that is a ladle with some birds in it. Soup ladle. Creative. Soup ladles are not just for soup, you know. And this guy is a cotton tail. Cotton ball tail. <laughs> you put cotton balls inside and pull them out his butt. Well, you pull them out his tail, but... <laughs> He was $3.99 and I decide to put him in my cart. I'm just checking him over to make sure that he's in really good condition. And I have sold one of those in my shop before, so I decide to take it with me. And this is just a little brass bird, very mid-century modern looking piece. And I think it was $1.99. And so I decided to take it. And I'm looking at this over again because I'm debating whether or not I want to take it for $4. Um, but then I decide, yes, I'm going to take it. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. It's pretty cute. And this is one lonely... Rooster salt and pepper shaker for 99 cents. So I decide to rescue that one. And then there's a mother goose. And she's also 99 cents. So I'm going to rescue these two guys and put them in my own collection.
I'm just checking them over to make sure they're in good condition. Cute little bears. This was a souvenir piece, decanter and little mugs. And this is a little Russian spoon. It's really cute. Really nice folk art piece, but I wasn't sure what I would do with one spoon, so I left it. And before I forget, um, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell button notification. And that'll let you know when I upload new videos. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece was, um, what you saw that I should have grabbed. These were some really nice brass napkin holders, but I have several of them, so I just, I didn't think I needed to get more. I don't know how well brass napkin holders sell, if something people really want. This is a really nice piece, really well done. You could tell that it was really good quality. Um, I believe they wanted $4.99 or $5.99 for it. And I decided to leave it. I kind of regret it because it is a really nice piece. And you could tell it was a really, really good quality, but I left it for someone else. And I'm going to put him on the top shelf so he gets noticed. And I spotted this cute little trinket dish. And I believe it's from the 1980s. And I just thought it was really sweet. So I believe it was 99 cents. So I put it in my cart. And I can't remember. I think I might have changed my mind and left it because I think there was a chip on the inside. I think that's about all there. So I'm gonna head on over to the Afghans and blankets. So I spotted these two Afghans and this one felt like it was made out of a synthetic material. And the other one I don't think was in very good condition. So I left those. And there's a few up here ahead, but I didn't love the color combinations, but these ones were a little bit plain. And this one was more modern, it's a chunkier afghan. And I spotted a crocheted pillow. And I love these pillows, but I didn't love this color combination and it didn't have a really nice feel to it. So I left it. And then I spotted this blanket and I thought it was beautiful. It feels amazing. It's extremely soft. And it's not a vintage blanket. Not a very old blanket, but it feels amazing and I loved the look of it and it was in really great condition. And we often go down to the river and have picnics. So I thought this blanket would be perfect to take along and throw on the grass or take to the beach. So I grabbed that one and it was $6.99.
And I thought these chairs were really fun. They were in pretty good condition and they were only $4.99. But of course I don't have the room to take them with me. So I left them behind, but they were definitely fun. And I'm just giving you a little look at my cart and I'm gonna head out of here really quick. So we will see you back in the car very soon. I did really well in that Salvation Army. I spent $39 and I got some good stuff, I think. And the other Salvation Army, I spent $25 in that one. And so I'm going to do a bowler haul and show you everything that I got from both Salvation Armies. And I'm going to do that when we're all set up at our campsite for the evening. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. And we are now at the ReStore and Wendell's already in there. He is hoping to find some vintage audio gear. I don't know. I guess you can find it in the ReStore sometimes. Hey, what do I know? Um, maybe there'll be some stuff for our bowler in there as well. Some handles or something that we can use in the bowler. And who knows, maybe there'll be some vintage items that I want to keep for myself or resell in my Etsy shop. So I guess we shall see. And I don't know if I'm going to record in there or not. Maybe we'll see how it is. Um, so if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss the fun. <laughs> Um, bowler haul coming up and more thrifting adventures. Um, yeah, we got a few more places to stop here in Regina, so stay tuned for that. Until I see you again, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.